So we got some movies that we want to bring up to you uh, that that you may have missed out. Uh, one of the things that we discussed, uh, I, I didn't watch it, uh, but I know other people have. And I, I was checking out some of the images as I was making some of the promotional material. Gone with um, the wind. Definitely wasn't Willie's that. <laughs> it definitely wasn't that. No, it was Psycho Goreman. I watched it. Yeah, Psycho Goreman was looked Fucking really crazy, interesting. Bro. And that it, movie it, from, is crazy. from one description that I read about it, it said it was like if Marvel met Troa, basically. Yeah. Hmm. No, I wouldn't say well hmm. Marvel because hmm. it, it, definitely trauma, hundred percent trauma stuff. But it felt like Power Rangers in a sense to me meets trauma. Because you had these kids, you had these kids find this jewel with this guy that just wanted to kill anything that got in his way because <laughs> he was just uh, just evil. And this girl who did gave no fucks about anything, like, no, you're going to do what I say you're going to do. Mm. Like, Was he like a genie? He was like a genie? No, it, he was a freaking, started off as a slave, gained some kind of power, destroyed the people that would... That you know enslaved his people, but he said, "You know what? I'm gonna go further. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna destroy everybody, cause fuck everybody." And they actually <laughs> caught him and and then put him into like with a capsule. And she found the jewel and opened him up. And whoever holds the jewel controls him. So he's sitting there talking shit. Like when I get done, I'm gonna freaking kill you and your family. And she was like, "Well, I'll see you later." <laughs> like, 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 no, that sounds hilarious. Yeah, wow. it, no, that sounds it, hilarious. It was freaking. It was freaking good. Yeah, but, Prem uh, says he uh, PG looked like Ivan Ooze. Kind of like Ivan Ooze. He did? Yeah, and he, like he some of the monsters like in there kind of wow. just reminded me of like Bad Trauma but, or Power Ranger monsters. But everything about it screamed cheesy 80s horror. 90s. Or, oh, 90s? Oh, 90s? I'm you telling 90s? you, it's like some of the fight okay. scenes seem very Power Ranger from the, the 90s, original Power like really Ranger. Ba- like really bad. Like some of the monsters, like the Look rubber like suits. That, yeah, like, it wow. was this fucking... Monster that wow, was just okay. like a bucket full of body parts, and it totally <laughs> looked like something from Power Rangers. Like it's crazy. Uh, um, another one on the list I see here is a uh, uh, Colossal. I don't know Colossal. Co- I don't watch Colossal. Oh, that's the one with uh, with uh, Anne Hathaway, isn't it? Colossal. Yeah, I remember now. Colossal. I remember now. I think it was like a, it was like a funny. I never watched it. It was a kai, it was a basically a kaiju movie where basically every time she fell asleep, the the monster came out. Nope. Hmm. This sounds like an anime, but I know it's it does not. sound yeah, like one, right? Like you see an anime. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like Janemba. I mean, not Janemba. Um, Tapion. Yeah, sounds like Tapion. Yeah, it sounds it's like also, Tapion from um, uh, DBZ it's also movie thirteen. New Mutants, basically. Yeah. They're freaking garbage. The, I'm oh, sorry, I have to say it. That dude, movie this, was that, kind of garbage. That movie, no, that is terrible, man. Like, oh, I, I forgot to, to watch it. Uh, like paused it and then like never went back and pushed play. What? Yeah, what? New Mutants? It's, yeah, it's yeah. It's, yeah, dude, that's no, just I sucks, watched bro. New Mutants and it was just it, it was a way. If they rewrote that movie perfectly, it could have been the bridge. Mm-hmm. It just it was just a, a doorstop. Like it didn't mean anything. It was such a missed movie. Yeah, the way they like, did it, and and they tried to have that little scene from Logan in there. Like, it was going to be connecting, like, those kids with some of these mm-hmm. kids. It's just like, dude, if y'all going to do it, do it right. Right. Um, <laughs> one one that I saw that I actually watched, that, um, and and that's my thing, and, and that's what I like about picking up physical movies sometimes. You just walk into a, a store and see something that just catches your it's eye. It's like a, a $5 DVD man? Sometimes, but, like, this one was, it was called Iron Mask, and it is a movie that features a fight scene between Jackie Chan and oh. Arnold Schwarzenegger. What? Oh, I kind of, I've heard of Jackie this movie. I've yeah. seen that I've random ass yeah. movie. <laughs> because the last time oh. they the last time they were in a movie together was a movie called Around the World in 80 Days yeah. or something like that. That was right before he became yeah. governor. But this movie is like Arnold is playing like a warden at a prison, but he's like an honorable fighter. So Jackie gets sent to the prison and like they have a fight scene and it was just like they stuff you never thought you'd see because old I mean, ass Arnold, old, old ass, ass Jackie, Jackie, old ass Arnold. This is like, dude, that okay. whole movie was random as hell. Yeah, that movie's like, super I, random. I watched it. I watched it. I think like on video like three years ago, and I was what I I didn't understand what the hell was going on by the end of it. <laughs> I don't think you were supposed to. <laughs> they were like, look, David, we got Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's do something. Right. I think that's legitimately what the movie makers did. It was a movie I was. Well, no, to somebody watch looked back and was like, "Is that Mike Tyson?" And Donnie Yen. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. yeah. In my three. Yeah, three. Yeah, in my three. Yeah. What are you saying, Dino? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's up, Rubberback? Power, power. What up, though? 
So gunpowder milkshake. I wanted to watch that. Gunpowder milkshake. Yes, I, I did. I definitely wanted, we missed that. Is Michelle Yeoh? Michelle Yeoh, the um, woman who played uh, uh, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. Um, what's her name from uh, from Guardians uh, Nebula. of the Galaxy? Nebula. Nebula. Oh, okay. The one that played Palm, Nebula. Palm uh, Karen Palm Gillan. Karen, yeah, oh, Karen Gillan. I'm sorry. Palm is the other one. Palm plays Mantis. Palm, Palm Clemente. Oh, Clemente. Yeah. 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 I wanted to watch that on my vacation, and yeah. I forgot about that. But I watched a lot of movies Me on my too. vacation. That's cool. Stuff that um, I missed in 2020. So here's Some of the stuff you watched, besides, obviously, the ones I know you watched. Uh, <laughs> well, I watched, uh, not I was going to say Jumanji. Right. Not Jumanji. It was uh, Jungle Cruise. <laughs> Yo, you did? That you watched that one? Yeah. It was, well, it was well I got one. So I don't know if you guys follow, follow Marvel on social media. Uh, if you don't, you need to hit up the Fallen Marvel on all his various social media. Because this man be dropping some just random gems of good stuff. This man posted a clip of Bloodsport 2. Direct to TV, t- uh, direct to DVD, oh Bloodsport 2. Yes. Direct to yes. DVD, Bloodsport 2. That shit was gr- that shit was great. Like, uh, now was my man was the black guy? Was he the main character? Of the he movie? was he he was one of the main allies because Daniel Bernhardt was the main. I character. thought it was Daniel Bernhardt. Oh, yeah, okay, Daniel, so right. Daniel but Bernhardt he got but he was like one that. of the main he was like one of the main allies leading up to the tournament starting, mm-hmm. and that was dude. That's the only Bloodsport sequel that I acknowledge. The rest of them after that were terrible. <laughs> but that but the second one is the only one I acknowledge that was actually pretty decent. It has some pretty dope ass fighting scenes. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this was like this was still like the mid to late 90s where like action b movies were like still dope yeah so Mm -hmm. so like that that's kind of like one of like the last ones i think like the last one i really enjoyed during that era was probably drive with mark DeCascos, which is on my plex i need to watch because y'all was telling me about drive oh yeah back in the early 2000s even before fifth element was made yeah Yeah, no you were no fair i will say this no this is what i will say about that movie because that's still one of my favorites like i really feel like someone low-key knew about that movie and that's why we ended up with uh rush hour because it had the same exact feel to it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Except it's it, had, it had a bit more of a sci-fi element to it, but it okay. still had the same exact feel as Rush Hour. Uh, so <laughs> another one in those eras, like you were bringing up, you know, those directed DVD '90s fighting movies, like similar to the way that he ignores every other sequel to Bloodsport. Uh, I ignore every other sequel to Kickboxer except for Kickboxer for the Aggressor. Oh, you mean the one with Van Damme back came back for it? No, no, that was it. Wasn't that one? Uh, that's Kickboxer Vengeance. Oh yeah, I'm talking right, about yeah. Kickboxer the, for the, the, uh, the oh, yeah, 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 the aggressor yeah. where basically okay. Sasha Mister gets out of jail, mm-hmm. goes down to Mexico, and just you know acts like a complete badass and it's just like there's fights everywhere. This is this shit was great. Mm-hmm. Like honestly, it, it, the plot was super paper thin, <laughs> but it was. <laughs> Who cares? No, I, Who hey, cares? You were hey, there for the fighting. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I, there is one thing that I see in Walmart constantly. Anytime I go to Walmart, the, the video section, there is a Canon collection with 10 films on it. Masters of the Universe is in it. Masters of the Universe is in it. Uh, a couple Chuck Norris films are in it. Charles Bronson. Cyborg's got to be in Cyborg, it. I think Cyborg is in it. I believe I got to look at it again. But. There is this one, and then Wolverine Solid X knows what I'm talking about. It's called um, Invasion USA with Chuck Norris. Oh my God. That movie really? is, you got to watch that movie. That movie is so. I it is the insane. Cover more than I the movie. It is <laughs> Invasion insane. USA? Yes, it is insane. That movie is so 80s. It's just like it's just it's a dichotomy. It's just I'm sorry, not a dichotomy. It is a perfect slice of everything in the '80s action movies that didn't make no damn sense. So was it a spoof? No, or they were trying it's to Chuck be serious. Norris, dude. It's Chuck Norris, <laughs> so it's a Chuck Norris flick. So He's it's Chuck Norris at the height of his Chuck Norris dumb. So it's like Delta Force Chuck Norris. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. but oh, this movie is so insane. They have yeah. okay, just to give you a small example. Chuck Norris, of course, ex-military, something, you know, the usual thing, right? Right. So he's at his place, like, down in the bayou, basically. He's he's not in America, technically, but he's just outside the border. Right. So whatever. So he's he's down there. He's got his little, you know, little house down there wrestling gators, you know, chilling, being Chuck Norris. Right. So it's like this team of gorillas. Now, you think, like, okay, it's going to be, like, four or five dudes. So they roll up to his house. You know, they shoot a rocket. That's trying, you know, trying to kill him. Oh, no. 
the reason the movie is called Invasion USA is because this is like some cartel or some whatever. They hit the border. There's like about 500 of them now. They rolling across the border in trucks. They rolling through neighborhoods, blowing up neighborhoods with rocket what? punches. This movie is so insane, over the top, but it's hilarious. And it was documentary. There was no police, no government <laughs> right, exactly. interaction, nothing. Oh no no no! The National Guard comes in, but you know Chuck Norris is already there. So what you need them for? <laughs> right. I mean exactly. that movie is so over the top, but it's it is classic. 80s cheesiness to it. We gotta, you know what? We, we might have, have to. Do, we might have to all sit down and watch that yeah, and record yes. our reaction. Was that came, joke is hilarious. I, I have to ask it was you. Garbage. In in that ten pack, mm-hmm. was I come in peace in there? Um, I don't think it was. Oh. I have, again, I, like I said, I'd have to look at it again. If you just, if for real, just Google yeah. Canon ten film uh, okay. movie pack or whatever. It'll give you a all list. Right. But oh, oh my god, yeah, Canon. yeah it's the Canon, the Canon films. films. Yeah, Terminator yeah. Two should be in there then. No. No, Terminator 2 is Carl 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 Co. Carl Co. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Or is it Terminator? Is it, I Carl Co. Superman 4 is canon films. Oh, I, you know that's not in there. Even oh, if it is, I have even if it is. All right, what you got? What is this? What is this? If you haven't watched it yet, for the love of God, everyone watch Willy's Wonderland. Willy's Wonderland? Why does that sound like a porn? Nicolas Cage. Oh, if it's Nicolas Cage, it's probably good then. Never mind. Dude, this one, he... It went through an entire hour and a half movie as the most violent Nicolas Cage I think I've ever seen. Is that the one where seen. he was in the bathroom? <laughs> it's the one where he was it's... in like the Five Nights in Freddy situation. Oh, no, I've been wanting to watch that. he did not oh, say God. one word the entire movie, and it was wow. amazing. Hey, the funniest Nicolas Cage movie for me, but outside of like um, the one with the bees, was Bangkok Dangerous. Oh, Wicker, a Wicker Man. No, <laughs> Bangkok Dangerous. Like, Bangkok Dangerous. Is one of the Six funniest nights. Nicolas Cage yes. movies. Because it's just like, first of all, he had black hair. Second of all, it was just like a Korean movie. So he's just making remaking a Korean movie, but it's Nicolas Cage in this Korean oh, guy's part. Stuff. It's just, oh my God, that movie was so funny. So, yeah, I mean, so I looked it up, right? Fighting mm-hmm. space so like... here, here's the list of the movies in this canon 10 film, uh, 10 film pack that, that GQ brought up. And just reading off the list, this might be a must-have. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing in action, like he just talked about. Uh, no, not missing in action. Missing in action. Invasion USA. Mm-hmm. Cobra. Stallone's Cobra. Yeah, yeah Stallone's Cobra. Stallone's Cobra. Mm-hmm. Uh, Delta Force, the original Delta Force. Masters of the Universe. Over the top, Stallone. Mm-hmm. With Stallone again, mm-hmm. arm wrestling. Uh, Bloodsport, a must-have. Uh, the Hitman. Uh, and what does it say? Hellbound? I think so. Yeah, Hellbound? Yeah. yeah. With uh, another Chuck Norris film. I think there's supposed to be like 10 movies in yeah. there. Um, and I think... Oh, Electric Boogaloo, the wild untoward story of Academy Films. It's <laughs> oh, also yeah. it rounds oh, out yeah. the list. <laughs> yeah, it's... Again, it's... Oh, man. You can always... I like, guarantee you, you walk into Walmart, it's sitting right there waiting to be picked Yo, up. Yo, that's a, that's a pretty deep list. That's, yeah. that's, that's a pretty nice list. I, I kind of like that. I had to have it on Blu-ray, so I think oh, I had to man. order mine, but... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, you know, I get it. I, I, it. I, God, that movie is so funny. We, for real, we gonna watch, we gonna sit down and watch that. Oh one. yes, absolutely. Like all, just no, as no we absolutely should. Yeah. Absolutely invite should. them out there, put it in, put it in the Discord. Heck yeah! Right, so we could all watch it here. So uh, you know, speaking of Nick Cage, I know you're gonna go watch that that new movie that he's about to be in. I really do want to see that, that movie. Looks like it's gonna be great. Or whatever. Is this him? It might Pablo, be the greatest movie him and, he's um, ever been in. Pablo Pascal. Yes. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. movie Dude, looks like it might be the greatest movie he's ever been. Pedro, I don't oh, care Pedro, what people sorry. say yeah. at all. I freaking love Nicolas Cage movies. No, Nicolas Cage is great. And everything that he's made, he I can't a lot wait to see it's this like, thing. Nick is crazy, but he's the kind of crazy I can get behind, what the regardless. So, well, he's, like, he's a fun crazy to watch. Yeah, yeah he I is. think yeah. it's hilarious. He's also won an Oscar. People forget he's won an Oscar. Exactly. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, they try to act like he's a bad actor. I'm like, no, he has his own style. He does. That's that's what Nicholas Cage. Oh, has. absolutely. He does. No, oh, did you watch Next? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next was a fun movie, though. Next was actually a really fun movie. Yeah. Um, the premise nice. threw me off, but it started to get amazing, Bad and I watched it like 20 times. <laughs> Program note: Well, we're getting ready to go to the Powers Yours in a, in a couple of minutes, but the- if you haven't yet join the discord hop in the discord and and join the stage we're going to put the invite into the chat so you can hop right on in and then you can talk with us and share your thoughts on anything you guys want to talk about uh but let's round up this uh this discussion go ahead guys yeah um i think uh there was a movie i actually recently learned about thanks to uh 
a channel that I subscribe to, but man, something that's along the lines of Hard Ticket to Hawaii, if you guys remember that. Oh my god, um, that movie is crazy. Dude, the there's, snake. there's this movie and the the the, boom, the razor blade first beat and all that. Yeah, yeah. There's this movie I came across called Miami Connection. I've never heard of I think it I've before. Seen it. Like, was it? And it, dude, this movie was. I think I've seen my Miami, Miami Connection, dude. I th- that sounds it was very hilariously familiar. terrible. Like, Late I, 80s, <laughs> like a dude that had like a heavy accent. What's crazy is the movie was made in the late 80s, but looked like it came out in 1982. Like <laughs> aesthetic and all, it's like it's like it's it's old. It like it just seems dated even for the 80s. Like if that's even possible. Wow. So yeah, like, <laughs> I've seen Miami Connection. Oh, I do, wow. I watched that movie. That movie was freaking crazy. <laughs> like just, just basically the premise is just about like these guys that's like taekwondo experts that have a band and they have to fight against motorcycle ninjas. Yeah, and some <laughs> yeah. Other, like <laughs> motorcycle ninjas. Beyond that, I don't Did know. I hear that right? <laughs> yep. yep. Motorcycle <laughs> ninjas. Yeah. All right. So they are definitely we're gonna come up with a watch party for some. <laughs> Like, shut up, man. His, <laughs> to sound his like, old, like, dude was foreshadowing his performance bro. as Cicada uh, yeah. in The Flash. Yeah. 